Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today we have a very special episode. I'm very happy to have our guest, Dr. Jennifer Lyerly with us. She's with Triangle Visions here in town and in the area. And also you should check out her blog, Idolatry. It's a great educational patient info blog. So, welcome. Thank you so much yeah. for having me, Dr. Oh, Porter. I appreciate no problem. being here. Yeah, glad you could be here. And she's going to help uh, share with us today about contact lens options for keratoconus. So first, just tell us uh, how patients with keratoconus can benefit from contact lenses. Sure. Keratoconus is a corneal degeneration of the eye. And I know if you've watched a lot of Dr. Porter's other videos, you know how the cornea becomes misshapen with time, kind of like a little mountain coning out, if you will, towards the bottom of the cornea. When light hits that cornea, it's going to be bouncing around in a lot of different um, positions and in different directions, and that's going to destroy vision. And it can be very aggressive as it progresses, and you don't see well at all, even with glasses. When we think of contact lenses, we're typically thinking of a soft contact lens. That's what most people wear. But that soft contact lens is going to form over the surface of the cornea and not really correct the cornea's shape. And that's what we want to achieve with a contact lens. So my best tool with contact lenses for keratoconus is a lens that's a hard contact lens. A lens that has its own natural shape. I'm going to try to create a new cornea for that patient, if you will, where light's going to hit it and then bounce evenly inside of the eye and restore that clear vision. When we think about a traditional hard contact lens, we think of it as a smaller shaped lens, um, sits right onto the surface of the eye, about 10 millimeters in diameter or less. The contact lenses I like to use for keratoconus are a little bit different in size. So when people first see this, sometimes that can be a little scary looking at a lens that size. We're talking 14 to 16, maybe even 18 millimeters in size, depending on the person's eye. But the goal with the contact lens of this diameter is that we're going to create a whole new surface on the eye. It completely goes over top of their cornea, doesn't touch the cornea at all, and just sits solely on the white of the eye. There's some real benefits to that because the white of the eye has so much less nerve endings on it, so you're not going to have as much comfort issue as this smaller lens bouncing up and down all over the cornea. It's also going to center very well because it sits underneath your eyelids, both top and bottom, um, and the optics are going to be incredible. So this is the lens that I really like to use when I have a patient with keratoconus. Okay, well, excellent. And I know that we want to keep the patient's cornea as long as possible because it has a much greater lifespan than a transplant would. And so if we can get them, uh, keep them in contact lenses to keep good vision, uh, that's something always we want to do. But if we need to go to corneal transplantation or other procedures down the road, uh, that can be an option for the patients who need it. Uh, so thanks again for joining us. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, about contact lens options for keratoconus, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight. Bye.